Hi and welcome to Audio Trends TV. I'm Mark Hales and I have here with me Mike Bromley from Sony Australia. And we're going to be dis discussing Sony projection. So what's Sony's position uh, in home cinema in, the, in this Australian market? Yeah, sure. So uh, currently we have two HD projectors and three 4K projectors. But to give you a little bit of our heritage, um, this is our 43rd year of making projectors. Wow. Um, and 42nd year of making home cinema projectors. So it's, it's been a long time. In, in that, that time, there's been a lot of innovation. So we've seen 4K developed around about 10 years ago, laser light source projection about um, well, 2013. So um, our heritage is in, is in um, uh, making simulation type projectors for planetariums and also digital cinema projectors for, for, for um, digital cinemas. Um, that technology is now filtered down into our home cinema projectors that you see now. Fantastic. I understand that Sony is the only company that can actually state lens to land room. What does this mean? Yeah, sure. What, what, what it essentially means is that Sony is involved in the whole um, uh, f workflow from capturing the content right through to the distribution of the content and the presentation of the content. So what I mean by that is that there's Sony artists being captured on Sony cameras, um, distributed via Sony distribution networks via DVD and streaming services to Sony projectors and TVs all around the world. Fantastic. So the question that a lot of people want to know is what is 4K and what are the, the, the key benefits to the consumer? Yeah, sure. So in basic terms, 4K is a lot of pixels. So um, HD is 2.1 me million megapixels, 4K is 8.8 .8 megapixels. So it's a lot more pixels, a lot more resolution. Um, what it really means, I guess, is to take a step back and to have a look why we actually have 4K. 4K was developed as a cinema standard. So as we transitioned from film to digital, um, all the user groups got together and devised a 2K standard and a 4K standard. And basically, if you think about resolution in terms of how close I can be to the, an image, um, it, it probably helps define what it is. So a 2K image um, can be viewed from around about three picture heights. A 4K uh, image can be viewed from around about 1.5 picture heights. And what that means is in a cinema, we can have a much more immersive experience if I can sit closer. Mm. So as cinemas uh, evolved, um, um, people wanted to be more, you know, the film experience is a very different experience from the digital experience. And, uh, and, and 2K didn't quite cut the mustard. 4K is really about sitting a lot closer and being more immersed. Mm. That means that as we bring it into your house, it means we can think about your design of your room. So, where am I sitting? Am I sitting at the very back of the room or can I be a lot closer? Going to have more chairs in the space. Mm. So it makes us think about our design. Um, yes, content's very important, but uh, as I said before, our first 4K projectors came out 10 years ago when 4K content wasn't a reality and it was all about how we maximise seating space within a theatre. Mm, excellent. So what is Sony's lineup of home cinema projectors and what are the key differences between these models? Yeah, so the, so, so the cornerstone of all our projection um, or, pro or home cinema projectors is our SXRD technology, which is a reflective display type technology, which works really well in simulation and, and motion and uh, has uh, excellent native contrast, which is what you need in a home cinema. Um, all of our um, home cinema projectors have that. Um, at, at the very entry level, our HW series projectors are HD projectors. And there's two models there, and basic, the basic step up is, from, is, is about contrast uh, and, and slight performance imp improvements. Our VW range are all 4K native projectors. Um, we start with a 300ES, go to a 520, which has improved picture quality. Um, some of the new technologies for ultra definition Blu-ray around HDR and so forth. And right up to our flagship projector, the VW 1100, which has one of the most remarkable lenses ever in a projector. Um, um, uh, it's about three kilos, has 18 pieces of glass that uh, move under a vacuum. Very precise, very accurate, um, excellent at reproducing sharp, crisp images. Mm, awesome. So I understand now Sony has developed a laser projector for home. Can yeah. You tell me a little bit about that one. Yeah, sure, Mark. Um, so about 18 months ago, we developed a, uh, an ultra short throw 4K laser, which we sort of brought out on the hush hush, but it's, um, it's a very unique product. It can, it can do a 147 inch image from about a foot. Um, that's been out for around about 12 months, but uh, officially this month, we bring out our new 5000 lumen laser 4K. 
Uh, the unique thing about laser technology, and um, this is again our third year of making laser phosphor projectors, is that the, we don't talk about these projectors in terms of lamp life, we talk about them in terms of maintenance cycle. So these projectors have around about a 20,000 hour maintenance cycle. Uh, where we're going in and cleaning a filter. Uh, it's a very different um, type of projection. And you can imagine 20,000 hours in a house. We can, it could be a lot of years, um, you know, um, five to 20, depending on how often you use them. The other nice unique thing about laser projection is it's instant on off. So they behave more like a TV than a traditional projector. Mm, awesome. So another question I got that some um, consumers watching this video might want to know is what is CinemaScope? And is that the standard aspect ratio? Yeah, so CinemaScope is, um, obviously you've got 16 by nine, which is a standard TV type of aspect ratio. And CinemaScope is a 2.35 aspect ratio. That's uh, a wider screen. And again, back to that 4K analogy we talked about before, it's about an immersive experience that you would get in a cinema. Um, there is no really official standard. It's really up to the, um, the cinematographer and the, um, studio, so is it 2.35, 2.39, 2.40? There's there's um, uh, variances within the spec itself, but yeah, I mean it isn't really an, a defined standard as such. Mm. Um, in terms of how we would view that image, there's kind of three different ways. Um, you would leave your 16 by 9 project as it is, and you would have a black bar along the top and the bottom. Um, 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 the alternative way is to use a projector that has a zoom functionality to, uh, and, and, and instead of using a 16.9 uh, projection screen, we use a CinemaScope style screen. Uh, and then we can zoom out to fill that width that we miss. Um, and, and the black bars then become hidden above and below the projected image. Or we can use an anamorphic lens uh, to stretch out the image top and bottom and, and fill out the canvas that way. Uh, there's pros and cons for all those three, and I think it depends on the budget and what your expectation is. One of the things, I guess, from uh, as uh, a, a um, we talked about viewing distances and aspect and um, ratios before. Um, if if I uh, if I watch a 16 by 9 image, um, my seat position can be always in the same spot. So if I don't change my projection screen, everything's great. If I use the zoom functionality. I increase the pixel size by about 20%. So therefore that seating position changes within the room. Yeah. So how, do we compromise that? Do we have a seat that has casters that moves back and forwards? Are we always starting at the back um, to watch an image? Or do we use an anamorphic lens which will maintain that um, seating position but, um, uh, and, and, and I guess maintain the brightness of the image? Um, and I guess all three um, variances customers can choose for themselves or you can help steer them towards. Mm. Lovely. Well, thanks for your information, Mike. It's been absolutely fantastic. Yep, no worries. Um, if you'd like to know any more information about Sony Home Cinema Projection, please visit our website, audiotrends.com.au, and we look forward to seeing you on the, the next lot of television shows. Thank you.